All right, Capcom. Resident Evil 3, look out! Nemesis is here, and he's got a big old rocket launcher. Resident Evil. All right. Let's start this. I'm gonna go on hard mode. Resident Evil 3. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. Umbrella no City. That's why they call it the Windy City. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. <laughs> that eye-closing animation's not... It's true that once the wheels of justice begin uh. to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. Jill sees this as justice? My last escape. Last escape. This is Chopper Delta. Weird way to look at it. Hello, Chopters. So this is a prequel to RE2. I don't know if it runs. This is the Resident Evil game I really know the least amount. Well, like mainline numbered Resident Evil game. Never touched this game ever. And he plays Jill, and I know it's a prequel to RE2. Really don't see many people in Raccoon City. Until I'm not sure exactly how long into the outbreak two starts. Some action. Some of that justice Jill was talking about. Resident Evil 3, Jill's Justice. Farewell to my life. Farewell to my home. This is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. This is my last escape. Okay, we're in it. Oh! Shit! We're really in it. Okay, let's have a handgun. A reloading tool? Excuse me? Okay, so this is the first game where they have like gunpowder? Yeah. And you mix gunpowder and create ammo. You see the instructions? I just want to see what's different from 2, since I really just got... I'm hot off the heels of Resident Evil 2. Barrels and explosives located in the environment are targetable. Oh, game changer! I didn't realize this had the uh, 180 turn. Backwards, press the cancel button. Okay. Yeah, so that's how it. Enemy grabs your character, your character is falling down. You can escape quick, more quickly by pressing the control stick and the buttons rapidly. You can dodge the attack stance button. Is that like right trigger? Pressing the A button while holding down the attack stance button. Got a map. Maybe I can zoom. Okay. 
Oh, nice. And then it just automatically goes to the journal. Let's so check out the other one. Creation of bullets. Okay, they need a separate book for this. Loading tool and gunpowder. Okay, sound, sounds pretty simple. Powders A, B, and C. Okay. So A and B I'll find out in the world, and I have to mix them to get C. Various kinds of bullets by mixing. Well, 13 different gunpowders. Ooh, and we got a list here. God, am I supposed to memorize that? I guess I will come back to this. I need it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Back here, we got a map. I thought I could, like, zoom. I thought this was a zoomable map. Okay, well, let's get back to it. Oh, oh, zombie walking in front of the camera. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going the other way. No! I wonder uh, how much how much of this is going to repeat what we see in uh, RE2, how much uh, reused art assets locations there are. So I'm going to be going through all different types of locations. I really have no idea. I assume I'm going to go to the police station at some point. September 28th, daylight. Whoa. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Somehow, I didn't really think this through. Okay, we've got to get out of here. We? What? What do you think you're talking about? Who are you? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter. But there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm nah. not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! Hmm. I feel like I'd rather be eaten than starve to death. That's tough. Really? Really, guy? I mean, I don't know who this is, Jill, but I say maybe just let him be. I feel like this guy's only gonna weigh you down in the long run. So maybe what we have here is a solution to the problem. Anything interesting to say about forklifts? What do we got here? H gun bullets. Bullets for my H gun. My trusted, my handy H gun. Ooh, this is a awkward uh, camera. Switching. Exit office. Let's check out this office. I wonder what that says. This Jill doesn't deem it important. Um, let's see. Got a warehouse key. Wait, did that. Whoa. Are you telling me that keys don't take inventory space? How can I see them? Oh, it does. Okay, I'm stupid. I don't know why I missed how I missed that. 
I'm dumb. <sighs> Got ink ribbons. Now I'll go ahead and use it for now, but I'll, pr I'll probably I'll probably just quick save since I have the ability to use saves outside of ink ribbons. I might I might do that. I don't know. I know it's cheating, but come on. I really just don't feel like uh, losing much progress. If the game was better about sort of telegraphing. I don't know. I guess I don't know how I feel about the ink ribbon stuff. What are these red bottles? Is that what that is? I can't see them. Jill! Should I grab the knife? I never... I didn't use the knife really in uh, RE2. It just comes down to, like, would I rather, like, try to finish somebody off with a knife and, like, take a few hits? Or if I'm out of ammo or something, do I just run by, maybe take one hit and just run out of there? And, like, sure, the zombie's still alive if I revisit that area, but I don't know. I'm safe for now. Oh, did I miss that first aid spray? that I hit this button oh the alarm I don't assume I can't I haven't seen where I can use this key oh wait it's not no nope All right, guy. You have fun in there. I'm gonna go kill some zombies. Oh, that's the husky. That makes sense. See, my gamer instincts already told me not to, like, just leave the building to go check out everywhere I could before I left. What? There is nothing strange. There is nothing strange. We're in a city during a zombie outbreak caused by a giant pharmaceutical company that also owns the city? But, you know. Besides that, nothing strange. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay. Here is what we call a problem... Oh yeah, the quick turn. Nice. I can I can quick turn. I can quickly turn. What a world. See, this is when Ari gets good. Is when you can't see what's happening off screen. You know there's some zombies that you want to shoot. Oh, another one. Cool. Ooh, whoa, that was nice. I needed to check out that dodge, too. I don't remember how to do it. Say, like, the ready button and, like, cancel? Really? Does this game have, like, a reload button, or do I just have to... Either empty the clip or combine them like this. Because that's. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay. Probably already wasting ammo. Probably immediately starting this game by wasting ammo. Cafes. Party, party, party. I want to, like, stand here and read everything. But I feel like I'm going to get attacked. Okay. 
This is this classic classic trap. Yep. I did like a. Uh, like I reached out and pushed a zombie away. Um, what is? I noticed there was type A and type B. What is the difference here? I think in RE2 I use type B. Okay, the map. Is it just the map on Z? I like type B. Let's get the map here. And Z is just another. Okay, right trigger or Z is a just both attack buttons. Um, how do I do that dodge? Quick turn, emergency escape. I think that's what I did. When an enemy grabs your character, your character's no, because he didn't even get to grab me. Did I do a dodge? Pressing the attack stance button, pressing the A button while holding down the attack. Okay, so. When he's close, when a zombie's close and you're hitting the shoot button, basically, you will dodge. Easy enough. Nothing unusual. Nothing strange or unusual happening tonight. Do not lock bikes to fence. Okay, I gotta get in the habit of using quick turn not even just like in action situations like combat but just to get around just don't gotta waste any more time slowly turning around Ooh, some herbs grin herb Oh, hey, buddy. No, I'm just going to start running for a while. Because if I'm not going to return to the areas in this beginning part, then... Killing zombies just kind of seems like a waste if I can, if I can get past them. And that's a big ol' if. Whoa. What the fuck? Who's that? Is that a person? Hey! Oh, guys. Ah! Oh, door sealed. Okay, I got to turn around. I got to fucking run. Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. Anything to check on this guy? Nope. Fuck him. Who's shooting? Who's shooting gun? Oh, hey, buddy. I... Oh, no. Oh, no. I've gotten myself in a, in a pickle here. Okay. I'm gonna follow that guy. Nope. 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 Just go through the door. Just go through the door, Jill. You got this. Oh, well, so much for this guy. Get away. Hey, buddy. This co-op, this is the introduction of co-op in Resident Evil. Uh, RE5 and 6, this was actually the first game to do it. Brad, hang in there. Oh, it's Brad? Why is someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. 
The police aren't trained for Brad this kind was of the pilot in what one? Could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. Freddy Krueger. He attacks you in your dreams. Him. There's no escape. And you could find Brad in RE2, like as a zombie, I think. I didn't do that, but it shows up at the end in the credits. Clock tower postcard. Okay. That's nice. Following explanation is printed on the backside. A landmark spot, St. Michael Clock Tower. Um, that's weird. Uh, huh. That, uh, handgun sprite is not loading. Yuh oh. Just, just grab a couple of those bottles of bourbon, Jill. Just get fucking loaded. What is on this table? Ooh, lighter. Time to go light some stuff. Okay, whenever I pick something up, the sprite doesn't load, but now they're there. So I just have to pick something else up and then the lighter sprite will load? That might not be good. Might have to figure out what that's all about. Barjack! Barjack! Three. I know I've missed, I haven't investigated every single, every nook and cranny, but. Whoa, 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 oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. No, whoa, what the fuck? Can I, okay. Okay, do I need something for whatever the fuck this is? Some more Grenerbs. This, uh... Weird sprite not loading bug is... Not great. I'll try to kill a couple. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this. Oh my god. Really? Okay, okay. Why are they s the scattering? Okay. I'll take it. No! herbs. Wait, I'm walking in a circle. I'll, uh, is this where I saw Brad shooting his gun? Had some zombos. Yes, I could have gone this way. Ah! Gunshots. Time the rope and we'll open. Oil. Ah. What? No, that's that's what you're supposed to do. That has to be. Really? Really? There we go. Okay. I just wasn't positioned. I can't use the lighter without oil. There's no oil in this lighter. 
Why oh, you give me a lighter I can't use? Where am I supposed to find butane at a time like this? Wah! So this is one of the doors that was locked from the other side. What am I supposed to do here? that? Hey. There's all sorts of people hanging around. Where'd she go? Lady. help you out. Uh, am I walking away from her? Oh, hey! sure how I feel about like the layout of this opening area you know the first or the Resident Evil 2 does a good job of making you making it seem like it is you know a big open city but really kind of just funneling you along toward the police station this one I'm literally walking in circles and feeling kind of lost I want to figure out who is screaming. I figure it's something to do with this door they opened. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. Not going... Yeah, this isn't where. I... Ugh. I'm about to run out of ammo. And I don't have the knife on me. I'm gonna get barfed on. Get a zombie barf on me. Okay, here we go. I haven't been down here. Oh, you are. Oh, this is bad. Just throw him on the ground and stomp on his head. You know how to do this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hey, well. Wow, the shotgun is here? Already have the shotgun? Also, I just equipped the shotgun, and the uh, equip sprite is still the handgun. So I might be running into some bugs. He's lucky he died before his guts were ripped out, yeah? You don't say. I don't know, Jill, are you a doctor? How can you say that for sure? Is there a zombie right next to me? Is that what just happened? I back out. Is there going to be a zombie right next to me? Let's find out. No, okay. I don't know what I saw. Mine's playing tricks on me. No! Uh, 
Oh shit. I'm just gonna use the first aid spray since I'm in the red. Okay, so where was that? There was that rope that was soaked in oil. Um, I don't even quite remember where that was. I, I, I really don't like the layout of this city, and I'm hoping I get, I'm hoping I get into like a smaller sort of. I don't know if it's going to literally be the police station. Yeah, I want to get the remake. Um, maybe here in a few days I'll be able to pick it up. But I just beat RE2 for the first time. First time ever, a few days ago. And that game's pretty cool. And I think the remake sounds like it could be pretty awesome as well. Motherfucker. No! Like, how good is that dodge? Am I going to be able to just constantly use that? Am I going to be able to rely on that to get around? Zombies. No, okay. That camera angle kind of threw me off. I think it was this way? Aw. Oh. Get get away. Get me away from your steamy hot barf. Mmm, this isn't the way. Is this where like the chalk was? Am I just running in a big circle? Cause I cannot like yeah. I'm having trouble just like internalizing this area. And maybe that's me. Maybe that's just me not. Oh my god. Like, paying it enough attention to sort of memorize. There's something about it that's just kind of confusing. Okay. Get out of here. This guy I can get around. This wasn't where I found the thing either. Come on. This was like towards the beginning? Yeah, this was... That's where they open the door. This is where I just got the shotgun. I'm just running in circles. Just running around like every area that's not where I'm supposed to go, taking all the wrong turns. I've heard in the remake that if you shoot them, not just any headshot, but if you shoot them right between the eyes, that that'll kill them. Like, you actually have to aim for where their brain is going to be to destroy them. It's pretty, pretty fun. Um, who's that? She's dead. It looks like she's wearing that red, like, denim vest. It looks like it's fucking Claire. This takes place in an alternate universe where Claire gets annihilated immediately. Okay. So now I'm literally back where... <laughs> uh, uh. Um, oh, I think it is right here. God damn. 
How did I go so far out of the way? Honestly, kind of thinking about reloading my quick save. I should have realized it'd be as simple as finding where the locked door is. So wait, nope, 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 oh, come on. Why did you run into the wall instead of running away from him? It's also like, ah, you're just so unclear of like, oh my God, okay, 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 okay. Let's stop fucking around. Oh, okay, out of ammo. Out of ammo. Very nice, very nice. <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm in this. <sighs> but, uh, wh wh why didn't you just open it? Why did you walk away? <laughs> oh. Like, I'm not sure how much time I'm going to be spending in this area, so I don't know, like, which zombies to kill. In RE2, in RE1, you can sort of be like, oh, well, I feel like I'm going to be walking around this hallway a lot. So I better, uh, clear it of oh, zombies. Ah! Fire dog! Get rid of the fire dog. Okay. Cans. These cans are... Okay, those are gunpowder. But there was totally gunpowder in that other room, but I couldn't fucking pick it up. Okay. And yeah, we're getting some invisible sprite bugs, but I have A and B. I had that little... This guide here. So A is handgun bullets, B is shotgun shells, and then... Can I not combine A and B? Huh. Okay, I will just make these. And there the sprite is appearing. Okay. Well, that's nice. I know RE2, the remake, has the uh, ammo crafting component, which was not in original RE2 added in this game, but I decided to take that for the remake. <sighs> Let me just pick up the knife. Oops. Okay. So they... I mean... I can see that as being a weird balancing thing. Because if you just make it too easy to craft ammo... You're never going to have to have ammo. And Resident Evil, like, these early games and the remake and everything seems like a... They're more a resource management game. Or at least that's, you know, an element of it. It's resource management between ammo and health packs. Because sometimes you'll have more ammo, so you should be shooting more. Sometimes you'll have less ammo, but plenty of uh, health resources. So it's okay to get hit a few times if you want to run down a hallway. Brad! Oh, no! What am I going to do, Brad? Yeah. Oh. Stars. Ooh, look at the negative. Fight with the monster. What? No. Yeah, I'm sure he'll die from... 10... 
<laughs> handgun bullets. I'm sure that's all I need to do. Obviously, I'm gonna run from that motherfucker. Well, I've got like 15 bullets, seven. He's gonna kill. He's gonna kill me. Oh, hey, Derek. I didn't see you there. I'm just looking at the chat now. Green herbs, green herbs. What what is the benefit there to to fighting him? Because I don't I don't feel like that could possibly go well. I need the unicorn medallion. Okay, I can't pick up that ammo. Yeah, I need that card. So is the layout the same? Oh yes, I love this room. They're having the party with the party hats. Someone has made quite a mess in here. Someone needs to Marie Kondo this place. Is this not the guy who gives you the key? Who gives Leon the key in RE2? Why is he dead? Report. This is Marvin's report. They killed Marvin! September 24th. There are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel-decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. I'm not the clock. Two of the twelve gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at the time, I have no choice but to spin the research on this case. <laughs> the case of the missing clock gems. Based upon an autopsy report of the 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having deployed, developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend the case at this time. We've, I like that he's just like, we really got to get these gyms back <laughs> like during the zombie, the fucking zombie outbreak. <laughs> that's his number one priority. It's like, oh, it's such a beautiful clock. That's how he met his tragic end. I don't think Leon has sex. I think Leon's just one of those dudes. Doesn't have sex. He could. He just doesn't. He just chooses not to. Am I saying he's like fully asexual? Maybe. We don't know. Have we asked him? the evidence room. Is this one of those clock gems I've heard so much about? Um, Z. 
zero, 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 zero. Nope. I've got way too much shit in my inventory. Need to go dump it off in a big old box. here run 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 oh is there ah oh, this might be a safe room it should be yes this is the uh, dark room You really get uh, get a bunch of use out of this police station because you play through it twice in RE2, the different the Leon story and the Claire story. Okay, we got David's memo. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday, Meyer, one of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. I could still hear him calling out my name. I could still hear the screams coming from behind. The sound of his flesh being stripped from its bones. I was afraid. Terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey. Unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I've blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. This is your weird writing. We've lost 13 men as of, as of yesterday. In three hours, we'll bicker over trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend, Mossberg, will be turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. Could hardly wait. All right, David. You're being a little emotional. You're being a little drama queen here. The blue gem in here. I'm still not like using the knife. I probably should be, but say la goddamn v. Like, should I have the reloading tool here? Should I be using that out on the field, or should I just like in a safe room maybe make some ammo? And I don't know if I'm going to need this lighter. So, I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm getting here. Oh, hey. Well, speaking of ammo. I hate using the handguns in this game anyway. I'm just going to hold on to that for now. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake by not uh, loading my handgun. Yeah, I figure. Just hold on to that stuff in the safe room. Like, maybe if I'm really needing ammo. Oh, come on. <laughs> no! Okay, okay. Honestly, you know what, guys? Get up. Take me, you cowards! You died. You dead. 
That death didn't count. I want the record. I want it on the record that I did that on purpose. Everything won't give up. I won't allow them to win. I'll survive. They can't escape my lap. They can't. What? What? Words. I don't know how to read, guys. You can't. You can't expect me to be able to play video games and to be smart. That's asking way too much. Okay. Wasn't there another one? Yep. Hey, buddy. Okay. We'll go check out the upstairs. Ooh! Say goodbye to their heads! Hmm. Where's the statues in the virgin gym? That statue is holding. There's the star's office. It's locked. You need the star's key. That makes sense. There's a barricade here. Okay. So that's not going to happen, I guess. Well. Ah! Woo! Thanks for that quick turn. Everyone loves it when a game makes you kill dogs. Oh, hey. Star's card. Who is that? Is that Jill's own card? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Jill, why did you... Why did you not have your card on you? So is the star's key different from the star's card? Why do I have five ink ribbons on me? I thought I dropped those off at the storage box. I mean, I can light light it light the fireplace and get one of those gems. Because it said I needed a star's key to get into the star's office, but it didn't have like a card key reader. Key card reader. Oh, come on. Ah! Motherfucker! You asshole! You know, that dog deserved to die. There's some red herbs. Nice. Now I think I need green herbs because I don't think I can mix. Nope. Uh oh. This is all going bad. 
at least they're changing... Not changing the actual layout, but like barricading certain doors, so... It's not like the exact same... You're not progressing the exact same way that you did in the other game in RE2. I guess I'll go check out that uh, the star's office, see if I can get in, but I don't know how. Because again, I did not see a key card reader. Big old guy. This donut lover. Yeah. But can I use this card to access the computer in the lobby. That's what I think is going on here. Come on. Okay. Back to the evidence room. I'm glad I have like this, the police station, uh, pretty internalized. Oh yeah, do not have this because that'll be interesting to see in the remake. Uh, how they change the layout up. I'm just gonna run. I'll let this guy be. He's had a rough night anyway. This door is just barricaded. Is this one locked by the... If I have to unlock this? No, it's also barricaded. Huh. I think I'm, like, stopping on the ladders because in the... In RE2, you would just, uh, press A to use the... Or the stairs, rather, than the, not the ladders. But you would use A to just walk up and down stairs. And in this game, you have to, like, actually walk up and down them. Yes. So what is this going to do? Move to the evidence room. Okay, this is going to give me this code. Weird. Let's check the area out. Go. 
O. Five. One. Three. Okay. So they used the evidence room as the star's office. And then their first thing they did was lock the key to the star's office in the evidence room. Very, very good. Uh, I went the wrong way. This is not the right way. Wait, this, this is, am I, am I confused? No. Let me go back to the storage box. I guess I'll put these red herbs, or at least one red herb in there. Um, do you think I need this card? Hmm. Hopefully I don't need a ton of ammo. Hopefully I'm not like running into a boss fight. Oh, keep the card. Okay, I'll trust you, crazy killer. That's the thing that's weird about some of the inventory management is that sometimes it's like, well, I literally don't know if I'm gonna need this thing. I don't know why it's invisible. Yeah, I was just hoping I'd pick up another green herb so I could combine it, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm going into the star's office, so... I can't remember if there's... I don't think there's any kind of, like, computer in there in RE2. I don't know if I ever got through this door in RE2. Like, I feel like I must have missed something. Because it says that the entire time when you're playing... Seems to be nailed from the other side. I don't know if it said that. Lockpick? Why didn't you have one already, Jill? You, the master of unlocking. <laughs> Thanks for spelling that out, game. This is where you get the shotgun. Whoa! Hell yeah, I'll pick up the G-Launcher. G-Launcher. From Kendo Gun Shop. That's the, probably the gun shop where you run into the very beginning of RE2. I have some good news for you from my brother Joe. He's finalized the new handgun for official use. It is the M92F Star Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns, Joe said. If you miss the targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. <laughs> the goods will be delivered along with the proper documentation. I'm sure you'll be surprised what you could see when you see what kind of excellent parts are used for the M92F. I know that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it. Sincerely, Robert Kendo. Kendo Gun Shop. Kendo, Robert Kendo. Fucking weeb. Yes, yes, Chris Redfield, he shoots. He shoots good. There's that big mouth Billy Bass on the wall.
There's that replica gun. Oh, and some handgun bullets. I've already got a ton of those. Barry. My buddy Barry. survivors found where was that it's weird to me how Jill is never like she doesn't seem like she's ever been here to this police station she's never like ah oh, I knew this I I know where this is because it's like reflecting the player's experience but Jill should you know I feel like know where some stuff is as a member of stars So who was that? Was that Leon? Was that Leon like as he was getting into Raccoon City? Okay, so that door was blocked off. Well, I got the lock pick. So I gotta think about any locked doors. Hmm. Carlos. I think I, I feel like I know who Carlos is, but ah! This door is not a. Uh, yeah, this is nailed from the other side. So that's not where it is. Uh oh. That was uh, definitely glass. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking outside of the station. Because, like, it's not like you were locked in here. You just ran inside. Because Nemesis! Oh, hey, buddy! Stars! No! You just ate a rocket. Oh, this wasn't the way to go either. Shit. Stars! <laughs> no! Okay, I... <laughs> Stars! I just reloaded my save. I should have quick saved later. Sorry to shame you. I didn't use that card. But it's not like I needed inventory space anyway. I need a just green herb on its own. I shouldn't have combined the ones that I have. Because then I could combine it with a red. Have a nice red herb. Stars. I mean, there were definitely several locked doors as I was outside before I got to the police station. So maybe, maybe it was one of those. It's possible. I have the... What? What? Uh... Huh. So there's some randomization going on. Sort of as item placement. That's, uh, interesting. I like, I like the Magnum a whole lot. But I do feel like the grenade launcher would maybe be a better, uh, choice against... Nemesis, but, but I'm not. How? 
Are you really supposed to, like, try to fight Nemesis when you encounter him? Is it like the tyrant in RE2? Beep 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 No Cut anyone Our platoon is cut off No survivors found This is Carlos Oh Carlos okay Um, before I run out in front of Nemesis again, I will take a... Oh, okay. I'll be back in like one minute. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what this nemesis fool's up to. You don't scare me. Ah! Stars, stars. Stairs. 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 Oh, oh, oh no! Oh shit! Oh, bad, bad times. Oh, that rocket just hit me in the back of the head! Rude as fuck! Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go check out... Outside. 
Okay, so I guess Nemesis coming after you was kind of a cue to be like, hey, maybe go outside, because he's not, he's obviously not there anymore. I see. That's logic. So I basically went into the police station to do all that for a lockpick. All of that for a little little lockpick. Stars. Books. With no idea where to use it. Um, there's a red. I see a red section over here. Looks like a locked door. You've used the lockpick. Okay. Okay. I'm getting somewhere. Oh, I bet all these red barrels are the ones. Because I'm just now remembering that it said, like, you can target barrels and shoot them. Oh, I definitely saw that. Did you, did you guys see that? Am I going crazy? Mercenary's Diary. September 1st. Following six months of intensive training, my body's edges returned. I was a good soldier, but they ordered my execution with no reasons given. I was tortured and forced to give a false confession. But on the morning of my execution, a miracle happened. The company had helped me out. Give me a second lease on life. I ended my vacation short and returned to the HQ office. It looks like my UC UBCS unit's been called into action. Umbrella maintains its own paramilitary unit to counter corporation, corporate terrorism and VIP abduction. They have nightmen who specialize in handling problems caused by illegal products. I'm currently a member of the latter. Okay. Dawn's here, but we're still slogging through this nightmare. There are no provisions of any kind here. The undead walk the streets, feeding upon the flesh of the living, blah, blah, blah. Given the choice, again, I would rather have been executed. Death Row is a heavenly asylum compared to this place. I've chosen to pull the trigger myself in the hope that my dead body won't come back to life. Everyone's got their own little... Sad story. This mercenary and David. That's what you get for being a mercenary for Umbrella. Like, come on, man. What's that? Fire hose? Oh, look at all those fucking herbs. Holy shit. I need to go back to a storage box really bad. Still haven't needed this key. Uh-oh. That dog, that dog doesn't care. That one does. Nobody down. Ah! Ah! Who's walking around over here? Doggy. Oh, too much stuff. Need box. I shouldn't have grabbed a blue herb. I haven't even found anyone that's poison. 
I like this garage. I am a fan of pre-rendered backgrounds and fixed camera angles. I understand why games don't do that anymore. Because it's like objectively bad, but something about them that's kind of nice. Like you can't do camera angles in games anymore because they're all just like behind the back or third person. Mm. But I'm gonna need the. Um, I'll leave the blue on its own. Just in case I do get poisoned separately. I can go back and get another green one because I have a second red one. Man, I should have just grabbed two green instead of a blue and a green. I might also leave the magnum in here. Keep the lockpick. I wonder if I'm going to regret not... Uh, keeping the card on me. Plenty of handgun ammo. Maybe I should use my handgun ammo more. My handgun more. Just hate firing that damn thing. Oh, doggies. Oh, doggies. Tons of doggies. Doggies, doggies, doggies. Oh, my God. Huh. Okay. There's that thing. What are you? Oh, maybe I should have the Magnum. Oh my god, I don't like you. I don't like you one bit. Damn it. I'm gonna reload my save. Oh, did I break it? Okay. I might actually get my Magnum. to have to use my herbs anyway. Motherfucker. Fuck the shit off. Too many dogs. Okay. okay. Let's, uh... Let's see how this goes. Yeah! Just one shot? Fuck yeah. Oh, another one. I don't know what those things are called. Creepy, creepy crawlers. Battery. So I'm going to need to get a battery and I'm going to need to charge it with the jumper cables in the garage. The parking garage. Where does this go? This isn't, is this where I came in? Yeah. Uh, where does this go? That's right. Um, okay, I'm going to equip my handgun. 
Scum. Who's that? Who's that there? Where am I? What's that say? The arcade shops? Classic arcade shops. You guys remember the 90s when you could just go into an arcade shop? Got so much handgun ammo. I need to just dump. Oh my god, well, I'm gonna get my chance to dump because there's like 400 guys here. Oh my god! What? Okay. Okay. At some point, I'm just need to, gonna need to go. Go, 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 go! Okay. That was all of them. Oh, hey. Not like a crank? Rusty crank. Ooh, nice. I want to get that shotgun back out. Here's what I'll do. I will load... Nope, 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 nope. I'll load the handgun. And I will... Put the crank in here, because I have no idea when I'm going to use that. Put the magnum in here, because whatever. Put the sh handgun ammo in there. But I will take the shotgun out. Okay. Arcade shops. Oh, it's that clock! That was a clock gem! Okay, so it's missing two gems. I have one in my storage box. Coon City Hall, huh? I'll go get one of those gems. Good old-fashioned clock gem.
nice. Uh, honestly, no. No, I won't. Okay, push this. Let's go ahead and push it. Why not? Um, am I pushing it up above the vending machine? Up to that vent? Am I pushing it down this hallway? So the shutter. That doesn't seem like a thing. Oh, I'm pushing it, okay, above the payphone there's a photograph. Oh, wait, am I going to be able to grab it from here? God damn it. Oh, I didn't even need it. A close-up shot of a zombie. <laughs> to me. It says, scoop, on the back side. Hot scoop. Oh, okay. The switchboard. Yes. Now what? That's fire. You can't get through fire? Oh wait, yeah I can. Turns out, yes, you can just walk through fire. Ah! The fuck? Ah! She won't go through there. That room's too hot. Who you? Hey. Where, where am I? Relax, you're fine. It's not Carlos, is it? If you say so, but my head feels like it's about to explode. Well, I'm anyway, gonna say this is Carlos. Carlos. Yep. Glad to meet you, lady. Jill, Alpha Team, RPD Stars Unit. Who do you represent? Oh, I'm gonna take one guess by that emblem on his back. Stars, I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force, sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey, don't look at me like that. What did I say? Do you have a problem? He said sent by Umbrella. Oh no. It's him! It's my friend. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, try hiding in the back. That's what I meant by hide in the back? That's not... Oh. Uh, Alright! Well, that was easy. Huh. Job well done. <laughs> oh... Of course. I'm curious as to what will happen if I shoot him a few times. Is he even going to react? Carlos is tanking. Like, it kind of just seems like I'm wasting ammo, right? He gets... he gets knocked down, but he gets up again. I'm never gonna keep him down. Stars. Carlos die? 
Yeah. Yeah, Carlos died. I'm gonna try hiding in the back again. I don't know. I, what was up with that, uh, that case? Like, attache case. <laughs> oh, me dead. Oh, me hurty. Me go boom, go hurt bad. Whoa, eagle parts. Am I gonna get a a deagle? Am I gonna get my hands on a deagle? Could come in handy. Okay, Carlos. Let's get out of here. I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the Master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? Whoa. What a metaphor, we'll Carlos. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it! Should I trust that guy? It's locked from the other side. So I'm not getting in there. Not getting in here. So turning on that power. Is that gonna let me access anywhere new? I'll go ahead and keep my handgun ammo on me for now. You never know. I need a handgun or something. Um, there we go. Okay, I never went down here. Let's lock with a simple lock. Yes, I'll lock pick the shit out of that lock. 
fire hook? Fire hook? Haha. <laughs> Snow smoking? More like smoking. Will shooting this. Ah! Okay, that's. Not ideal. Uh, well, now that there's two. Is that one getting up? Okay. There we go. They're dead. But I don't think I should walk. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. Let's walk right into that steam or gas or whatever it is. Ah! Piece of shit! Stay down. Switch for the drain. Which drain? Oh, hey. Perfect spot for some kind of fire hook. Okay. I don't trust you. I really like the interior of this place. This restaurant. Dear citizens, thanks to kind and generous people, thanks to kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc., this is a peaceful and friendly city. The vast donations from Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work, the construction of public utilities, and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that, through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal buildings, creating a state-of-the-art hospital. In honor of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came to the city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledge to follow the traditions of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. Mayor of the city, Michael Warren. So is that the same mayor whose daughter was fucking decapitated by the police chief in RE2? Because that was weird. That was a weird thing that happened, or maybe didn't happen, but... I don't know. Something happened there. I want to eat at this restaurant. Whoa! Hey, buddy! Stash! Come on! Oh, he's fast. He's a fast boy. Yeah, just read this read this sign right now. Read this plaque. What are you doing? Turn around. Oh, that's a door back there. Why didn't I go through there? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that went about as well as you would expect. Poop. Uh, oops. No, I got equipped. Did 
Did I see what was this? Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't go through the hole. I went out of the building. Was there anything else in the restaurant? There was this city guide. There was nothing else, was there? Okay, this time I'm going to go down that hole. Instead of getting destroyed by Nemesis. Watch him be down here, too. Truly, no escape. It's safe to have all this running water by the electrical equipment. So, get back up. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Ooh, the green gem. There was only one other slot for it. And the clock, I believe. Oh, this was the guy in the restaurant from the, yes, from the letter. It's funny. Okay. So I need to get back to that clock. That's what I need to do. Me up, Nemesis. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I don't like how he runs so fast. Oh, just punch me in the back of the head. Okay, this was here. There's the parking lot. So if I were going to go back to that clock, is that here? I think that might be here. So is my friend still out here waiting for me? Yep. Hey, bud. I really hope the uh, Tyrant in RE2 Remake is, like, genuinely terrifying. Cause this game, it's it's fun, but it feels it still feels very scripted. Like it's not like there's like a lot of like AI that sort of justifies his stalking. He's just kind of there in certain spots or not there. Hmm. I don't actually really need anything. Like, it doesn't actually feel like he's, like, following me. It just feels like... Sometimes he's an obstacle. Ooh, like, I, li I like that, though, where he comes in the opposite side than you expected. But, I mean, that's also not very good for me. So I need to get around. No, 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 no. Oh. Is that gonna... Okay, open the door. Don't hurt me, Mr. Nemesis Man. He's not gonna open that door. Okay. That one's too much for him. 
Start from the other side. going on here Just having a snack ah I didn't even see that motherfucker Ooh, some green herbs. Finally something to mix with that red herb. That'll be nice. Ooh, okay. Nope. I was trying to shoot that barrel. There we go. Oh, this is from the little intro movie. Yep, there's that flaming dog. That you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin. So let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, we need to take a good look. Their circuits for any troubles. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid these nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Important, important life lessons. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. Mike Pence? How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. Stars. So you're not a civvy at all. The RPD special force team. Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Someone got hurty. Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. Fire. Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. Everything of things gonna be alright. Where's my phone? So, Jill, 
Did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. You should be my no, friend, Jill. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. Mikhail. Mikhail's hurt bad. Mikhail. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Hell yeah. A wrench? What do I need a wrench for? Get out of here. Is there anything to the doors? <laughs> nope. Okay. I guess I gotta use this wrench on something, but I'm kind of blanking on what I would use the wrench for. I wonder if it's something super obvious and I'm just being dumb. I'm getting kind of tired is the thing, so that might be part of it. My brain's starting to shut down. Oh, buddy. You dick, you dick, you dick. No, no. Okay, I didn't go this way. Stagla. Hex shaped hole is that uh, the crank? Is that a crank opening? It doesn't really make sense. Okay. Whoa! That surprised me. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck!
Good old tank controls. No, no! What the fuck? Given knowledge. Okay. Thanks for the book, sucker! Ah! You're still alive. Okay. Well... Might run over to the save room and call it a night. I want to check something first, though. I want to see <laughs> this crank. It's, yes, Hex Edge, okay. So that's something I can do, is take this crank over to that gas station. Try to do something with that. Uh, might as well mix one of these while I'm here. Make some drugs. Alright. Well... Ugh, I think that might do it for now. Been going for a few hours, couple hours. Uh, I'll probably play more of this at some point, unless I, you know, happen to get the Resident Evil 2 remake and then get totally sidetracked from there and never touch this game ever again. But no, I'll I'll, I'll come back. I'll uh, probably finish this by some point. Um, if you want to see me finish it, go ahead and hit that follow button get a notification the next time I go live with it, or maybe I'll go live with the Resident Evil 2 remake and you can watch some of that. That'd be fun. Um, if you're watching the archive on YouTube, you can see me uh, stream live at twitch.tv slash John Nugent. Twitch.tv slash J-O-N-N-U-G-E-N-T. Um, you can follow me on Twitter for updates on everything and for the link for the archive. Twitter.com slash John John K N J O N J O N K N. Um, and that'll get you uh, updates for everything. Um, thank you for watching. Let's catch you on the flip side. See ya.